Thanks for staying with us here on your Saturday evening. We do want to give you another live look out at the High Park fire burning near Cripple Creek. We've been keeping a close eye on this all afternoon. Storm Tracker 13 meteorologist Nick Carter is with us. And Nick, yeah. the big concern right now, I know winds were a huge concern on Thursday, but the big concern today is just how dry it is. Just so dry. And of course, temperature is getting close to 90 degrees. In fact, we did see a high temperature of 90 down in Canyon City. Mm -hmm. Elsewhere, we had temperatures that we were way above average. So you mix those two things together. Right. It just We just don't get any relief. But yes, the dry seems to be the big issue for today. So at least for the next few hours, until the humidity gets up there, until we get a little bit of moisture that appears to be moving over the continental divide in the form of mainly cloudiness, we're just going to have to contend with this super, super high fire danger. Live picture right now from our Century Casino camera looking west across Bennett and 2nd Street. And as we told you earlier, this is actually where the fire department is. And we noticed some activity with some of the emergency vehicles out there. They're just waiting. They're ready. And just in case things start to go south real quickly, we saw this water vapor time lapse earlier. It's kind of like a satellite time lapse. This is very dry air across the U.S. Mexico border. The blue representing cooler air and a little more moisture in the atmosphere. You might even notice some of the clouds forming over town right now. It's going to give us just a touch of relief. We're not really expecting any kind of rain, but we are expecting a little less wind. That's because the jet stream, the wind above us in the upper atmosphere, is forecast to move off to the central plain states. When the jet curves way up into Canada like that and comes down, we call this area a ridge. Good news is it doesn't look like it's going to be as windy tomorrow. The bad news is that anytime you have a ridge of high pressure, the air stays very, very dry. So we're keeping the red flag warning until 8 o'clock tonight. Basically, Douglas. County, Jefferson County, parts of uh, Adams and Arapahoe counties all the way down south to the New Mexico state line. And of course, that's going to include Colorado Springs and Pueblo and Walsenburg and yes, Cripple Creek. And as we told you earlier, those single digit relative humidities, the main hassle at this hour. And it's a little windy, generally winds out of the west, but we have a little swirl of uh, turbulence coming in from the south. So the air is a little turbulent. It changes direction and speed. So this is another reason why everyone is so cautious with how things are playing playing out the rest of this evening. Our future cast showed a little bit of cloudiness for the rest of the evening and possibly isolated dry thunder showers for tomorrow. That could actually be a really bad thing because of lightning hazard. We don't expect anything really coming from these clouds. These are very flat cumulus clouds, fair weather clouds moving in from the west northwest. It almost looks promising out here, but not going to see anything that's going to help us at all. 79 degrees our current temperature with the southeasterly winds at 15 miles per hour where there's a possibility of rain that's going to be Monday through Wednesday for Woodland Park, but that's only a 10 to 20% chance of showers. Canyon City's high temperature tomorrow. You're expecting a high of 83, maybe a sprinkle on Monday, maybe a sprinkle on Wednesday, a better chance for showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. Same thing for Pueblo. We'll go with a high of 82 tomorrow, maybe a shower or two towards the week's end. And if I had to hedge a bet here for Colorado Springs, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that we get some beneficial moisture on Saturday. That's where we have a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. We'll be back in a couple of more minutes, a couple of minutes. Danny Mata will be back with sports. Don't go away.